Someone worshiping this morning. Jesus, all the praise and all the glory. Oh, Rabba, Sika, Taya, Rabba, Basin, did it, Kaya, Reba, Sik, it, it was on the Kadabusun, did it, Kaya, Rabosun, did it, Kusan, Dick, it was Sunday, did it, it was Brenda Ligara Barroso, 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 Brenda Ligara
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. I want us to go back to some hundred, some hundred, some hundred. <laughs> oh, Father, thank you so much for this beautiful morning with all this beautiful brethren and worshipers on this altar this morning and um, this is the day that you have made we will rejoice and be glad oh thank you jesus the joy of the lord is my strength and it's your strength i'm telling you i'm telling you if you're on this altar please 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 let your let take take off your dancing shoes i know it's very early in the morning and in some places some places it's far 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 time is far spent it's like 9 30 some places it's 12 30 some places it's 5 30 so wherever you're calling from i want you to um get ready to praise god and please if you're not in a noisy place unmute yourself and let me hear your beautiful voice god wants to hear your voice this scripture has become my scripture theme i want to put it there before we go to some hundred let's put psalm 81 verse 11 from tpt i'm going to keep drumming this in our head so that you know that the importance of um allowing um the holy spirit to worship through you it says but my people still wouldn't listen is that the right scripture is it 10 my pricely people would not yield to me hallelujah it says mm -hmm. i am okay thank you it's the 10 i am your only god the living god wasn't i the one who broke the strongholds over you and raised you up out of bondage hallelujah mm -hmm. open mm -hmm. your mouth Amen. Open. I will keep saying this. You guys will get tired of me. Open your mouth with a mighty decree. 
Hallelujah. You know, there's a saying, and the, the, you hear preachers say, a closed mouth is what? A closed destiny. Closed destiny. I'm, beginning, I'm beginning to believe that because if your mouth is shut, how are you going to hagar? How are you going to prophesy? How are you going to declare if your mouth is shut? Think about it. How are you going to command your day? How are you going to command your morning? Think about it. Come on, people. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It says, open your mouth with a mighty decree. Winning Wednesday, open your mouth. I'll keep saying it. It says, I will fit what I will fulfill it yes. now. You will see. It says, the words that you speak, so shall it be. So you mm. cannot be on here and your mouth is shut and you want God to fulfill. Fulfill what? Think about it. I'll keep using this scripture over and over. It will be this will be my, my theme scripture until the whole place is on fire. Everyone is worshiping and you are kaboying and kabaying and and hagaying. Hallelujah. Do I have Amen. my witness brethren and and lovers and Amen. and, and Amen. sisters and brothers on the altar this morning? So please I admonish you. Let's open our mouth this morning. If you're not in a noisy place, I give you permission. Turn on your volume as we enter into worship. Get Put on your dancing shoes. Whatever you want to do, please get up. But one thing I want you to do for the Lord is open your mouth and begin to tell him how much you love him, how much you appreciate him, how much you are here to bless him. And because today we're going to be dealing with what the man of God was teaching on witchcraft. Hallelujah. We're going to, I'm going to read one or two things and he's going, we're going to play the video. There's one video. We never finished watching it. We're going to watch it again. And then we are going to what? Pray and repent and pray and declare. You might be on this altar. You might have the symptoms of, I call it charismatic witchcraft because those are the things that go on in the church. Manipulation goes on in the church. The controlling, the manipulating, you know. So you cannot be on here this morning and mm -mm, mm -mm, this is the day the Lord has made. So can we <laughs> open our mouth widely as you begin to thank God this morning. Let the Holy Spirit take over you and flow through you in the name of Jesus. Can we do that? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just Rabusunde <laughs> With one accord, with one heart, with one mind, we say we glorify your name. We say we lift your name on the Lord, our Lord, we worship you. Take all the glory. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. We worship you this morning. Yes. Yes. I have seen the future Revival is here I can see the world Worshiping the Lord Jesus my companion Raised up in the sky Every tongue and nation bowing to the King. Can you see it? I can see it. Oh, yeah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this morning. We say, take all the glory, take all the honor, have your way with us this morning. We yield this altar to you. I yield every heart to you this morning. I yield myself to you in the name of Jesus. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over every heart. I plead the blood of Jesus over every mind in the name of Jesus. I say, Holy Spirit, take control over these vessels. Take control over us in the name of Jesus. I come against every distractions. I come against every voice or every noise. And the serpent I silence and it's its tongue in the name of Jesus that will come Amen. and contradict, will come and contradict Amen. what we're learning in the name of Jesus. I silence the enemy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, amen and amen. 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 Listen, like the man of God said yesterday, I just want to repeat what he said. We are priests on this altar. And it says priesthood help us lead. And without priesthood, there is no pro there is no prophetic, there is no em evangelical, there is no teaching, there is no healing at all. When we cease to worship, when we cease to be a priest, the earth will collapse. <laughs> so um. if you know you're on this altar, remember you are a priest called not just for yourself but you've been called for your family you've been called for your community you've been called for the nation as you're here remember it is gps global prophetic service we're here to stand in the gap for the nation at large hallelujah amen amen, amen. i want to start oh i can't believe the time i cannot and we haven't even started um let's let, let me start with second timothy 4. second timothy 4 i want i want to um clear the atmosphere because this is being broadcast on youtube so somebody else is going to come on and watch it and you know so if we don't you know clear <laughs> put one or two things in place we're not here gps god has given us a mandate he's given the man of god a mandate and he is flowing accordingly second timothy chapter 4 verse 2 and 4 to 4. listen carefully and this is the mandate that has been given unto us 
Tuesdays are teaching. So when you come here on Tuesday, you know sometimes it's so different. It says, preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. It says, reprove, number one. Rebuke, number two. So sometimes if we're here, we are rebuking, reproving. It's biblical. It says, exhort. Hallelujah. With all long, long suffering and what? Yes. yes. The ring yes. and the doctrine. Yes. <laughs> doctrine. Doctrine. Hallelujah. Verse three. Amen. Verse three. It says, for the time will come. When the, the, when, when, uh, the holy men were inspired to write the Bible, it says for a time, they were giving us a warning that a time will come. And the time is now. Listen, it is now. He says, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. I can boldly sit here today and tell you, this is a place that we're learning sound doctrine. Amen. I can boldly Amen. say, I can Amen. boldly say, it because Amen. I know how I used to be. Amen. And I know how I am today. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, Amen. they will not what endure sound doctrine but after their own last they shall what heap to themselves teachers having itchy ears having itchy ears we have itchy ears we want to hear we want to hear something going from prophet to prophet going calling um this pastor calling this pastor it's like we, we become collectors <laughs> hallelujah when god is saying Calm down, sit at my feet, read my word, meditate, I will teach you. Remember the four things, um, another thing I want to throw out there before we go further. He said, let God reveal the word to you. Let God reveal himself to you. And let God reveal the man that he has sent. Or let me use the, let me paraphrase or use a different word. The voice sent to you to hear or to listen. And finally, let the word become you. Begin to be like, whenever you go, somebody sees you. It's like, wow, there is something about you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Verse 4. I don't want Amen. to teach today. I want us to pray. He says, And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and it shall be turned into what? Feebles. And that is what is happening here. There are a lot of good men out there, men of God, and I believe many, many of them started well. But then, guess what? Something happened along the line. And if God doesn't open that dimension, it says the mysteries has, has been given unto you, but not unto them. So if you're here this morning, you need to bless the name of the Lord because the mysteries has been given unto us. Hallelujah. We are here. Hallelujah. I, can, I only have one Amen. witness. So, Amen. hey, Rebbe, I can you take one minute to begin to thank God thank this morning you. for thank the doctrine, the clean, good gospel in the name of Jesus? Can we thank Him? Can we thank Him? One minute, one minute, just begin to thank Him. Rebbe Bose, thank Him, thank Him, thank Him. Rebbe thank you, Holy Spirit. Rebbe Bose, Rebbe Soto, Rebbe Bose, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Holy Spirit. Rebbe Bose, Thank him. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Basekata, you are the way maker. You made a way for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we worship you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for knowledge. Hallelujah. Reba Sunday, your presence, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Reba Sunday, Reba Sunday, Reba 
Kataya Rababo Sunde de Garababoya, Reba Sataya de Becorabo Sende de Ya, Reba Sekarabo Sende de Garabo Sataya Rababo Sanda, Reba Soto de Becarabo Sunde de Kataya, Reba Sekarabo Sunde de Garababoya, Sede de Kataya Rababo Rabo Sunde in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Because of the time, hallelujah, because of the time, I got to stop here and we got to flow because we want to pray in the name of Jesus. So now going back to what I was saying, hallelujah, I want to make a connection. (laughs) <laughs> let's go to Galatians. Um, let me put the scriptures out there. The Galatians. Let's go back to Galatians. Um, let's see if I can remember. Galatians 5, I think 21. I want I want to talk about something there so important. All day yesterday, I couldn't sleep. I was just meditating, meditating. I called first of all. I said, You gotta explain this. I was just thinking. I said, God, hallelujah. Galatians yeah, chapter yeah. 5. Galatians chapter 5. Um verse 21 i think it says now now the what can we read it can, can we all read it together somebody help me the flesh mm-hmm. are manifest which are did adultery fornication Last oh, I can't hear yes. you guys. Oh, you guys read, 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 read. Now the works of the flesh are now manifest, the which the are these: adultery, number one; fornication, number two; uncleanliness, number three; lasciviousness, number four. Verse nine. Verse it says idolatry, number five; witchcraft, number six; hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Hallelujah. He says. Envying, murders, drunkenness, revelings, revel- mm-hmm. and such like of the which I tell you before. Now, I need you to pay attention to the last part. It says, which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the past, that they which do such things, my God, I missed this part. The bottom part is where I, have, I had stayed on all night yesterday. It says, shall not inherit the kingdom of God. They shall not so we come in here daily and we want that revelation and God is giving us this what to do meditate on the way day in and day out Joshua meditate day in and day out Virgin meditate day in and day out I'm telling you if you meditate day in and day out all the things that they are mentioning it, it will be hard for you to fall into that it says they shall not inherit the kingdom Hallelujah. I want to read something. Somebody say, where is the kingdom? The kingdom of God is inside of you. It is in you. Everything that pertains to life has been given. Jesus, if you are born again, Jesus is inside of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You know, I want us to pray, but it feels like I'm teaching. And I I, I, I don't know how to even <laughs> connect. There's so much I want to say about that part. Let's go to Acts chapter 1, verse 3. Acts chapter 1, verse 3. Let me look at that time. Okay, I'm going to give myself five minutes and then we're going to pray. Five minutes and we're going to pray. Acts chapter, it says, To whom also? This is Jesus. They were talking. They're talking about what what is so important to Jesus. He didn't only come to save you. He didn't only come to redeem us. But he came to talk about the kingdom. He says to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to what? The kingdom of God. Hallelujah. 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 I want us to thank God again. Open your mouth and begin to thank God for for Christ. 
Thank him for the knowledge. Thank him for the revelation. Can we do that in the name of just one minute? Let's do that in the name of Jesus. Let's thank God again. One minute. Thank him. Thank him that everything that pertains to life has been given unto us in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you for deliverance today in the name of Jesus. Thank you for deliverance today in the name of Jesus. Thank you for revelation. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go to Colossians before we get into the before we show the video. Let's go to Colossians. And um, the man of God is going to show the last video the man of God uh, we watched yesterday. Hallelujah. Amen. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. <coughs> I want, I want to come from that. I'm coming from that dimension so that you know that you are praying from the dimension of who you are. <laughs> it says, who has delivered us from the powers of darkness? I came to assure you that you have been delivered from the powers of darkness and has been translated into the kingdom of his son, Jesus. Hallelujah. Who has delivered us from the powers of darkness? Hallelujah. There are two kingdoms. Matthew 12, 25. I want to quickly, quickly, I said five minutes, and you're going to show that um, the, that video from yesterday. Matthew um, 12, 25. I'm doing a correlation. It says, and Jesus knew their thoughts and said, make sure I got that, yes, and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or, or house divided against itself, what shall not stand. Mm -hmm. There are two kingdoms and we know what the kingdoms are. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of what? Satan. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, Satan is not after your cars or your houses or your, he is after what? Your soul. He is after your soul. He wants your soul. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's go to John 4.4. 4. I'm making a correlation and let's show that video. And he's going to use today. Up, we're going to pray in the next 10, 15 minutes. It says, and he, he, and he must eat, go through Samaria. No, that's not, that's not the scripture. 44 is what I meant. 44. But it is okay. Let's stop there. Can you show the video, the last video, when the woman was talking? We're going to be praying about... If for any reason, knowingly or unknowingly, that you have been manipulated in some way, somehow, you have been prayed for. <laughs> some of them are called false prophets and some of them are called charlatans. But I, 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 I got the honor to be... Um, they explain to me who a false prophet is. Many people we think are false prophets are actually not false prophets. They are just charlatans. They are just charlatans. Can we watch the video and then we'll pray? The last video, um, I think the lady was talking about the men of God that come to her. She's a son. Um, is it how do they call them? Like a priest, basically. And she gives powers to men who call or who claim to be 
men of God and they need what um, powers to draw people. How would you need a power to draw men? If you have the Holy Ghost power with, inside of you, that is all you need. Hallelujah. Do I have a witness on here this morning? Do I? If you have the Holy Ghost in you, if you are anointed, you don't need no other power to draw men. Hallelujah. All you need is Christ. All you need is the Holy Spirit. And that is why Jesus said, I must go so that the Holy Spirit, the helper, will come and help you. He is our comforter. He is our helper. He is the one who draws men. John 4, is it John 6? John 6, 44 says, Jesus was telling God to draw. He says, if you don't draw men unto you, we cannot. Can we um, show the video? That's why I'm talking. Hallelujah. Uh, I don't know uh, if they are fake pastors, okay. but they are pastors that wants people to come into their churches, but they are yeah, pastors yeah. that wants people to, that wants to have powers. I call them pastors. What we do is people have churches. Mm -hmm. So when people have churches, uh, they rely most of the of them i get they're not working they're not doing anything mm -hmm. so they rely on the church for them to live mm -hmm. that's the first we cannot run away from that so this church is their source of income mm -hmm. so they need to get paid for their time that they spend in the pulpit mm -hmm. i'm gonna say it again mm -hmm. they need to get paid for the time that they spend standing in the pulpit because they spend their time they're preaching and preaching and preaching and preaching right so coming back to this mm -hmm. So the church is not growing. Okay. There's a very small number of people at church and the money they donate in Klebatung, it does not even buy bread. Mm -hmm. So then the pastor, then the fake pastor or the pastor now, mm -hmm. decides that I need to grow the church. Wait, I just want to ask. The church is not growing. Mm -hmm. I've got only a few people. Mm -hmm. Then Gogo Manzini conducts a consultation mm -hmm. with the pastor. And then we check as to why are people not coming to church? Okay. What is happening? Maybe there's something wrong with the pastor spiritually that needs to be cleansed or fixed. We're not talking about God now. Yeah. Now we're talking in mind. In mind. So we're consulting the pastor. We find what's wrong with the pastor. And then we fix what is wrong with the pastor. For example, what would you say maybe has been one maybe, Yes, maybe good dark omens dark spirits bad aura you know um vibration is low and things like that okay. so then after the consultation then we get start with the cleansing that is what we do to everyone actually that comes for the for for for, for the ritual mm -hmm. step one is consulting then we cleanse and then there's a lot of cleansings there's a lot of incisions about cutting in then now we are putting in the powers in you and then now we are putting all the things that you want in you we're putting protection in you because now the reason we put protection in you is because we know that when you start having money you will always have enemies or you will always have people that want to attack you that happens even when you're not a pastor mm -hmm. then we give you something that we call the crowd puller so the crowd puller now is the one that you are going to use in the church that is going to draw the people for an example we bury a pig in the church is it alive it's alive we buy it alive the pastor buys it okay and then there is herbs that we do and then they come in a ball form and then it's a necklace and then we hang it on the pig right here it's alive and then on the right here uh, on the right ear of the pig now the pastor is going to talk remember the ritual of incision has already been done so you have the power of doing as I say. Then once that is done, there's herbs that we give you in a in a in a mojo bag form. Then there's a needle, and then there's herbs there. So you take the herb, the, the needle, you pinch your tongue, and then you take one ball on the, those herbs. It's small balls, and then you take one and then you eat it. Then you eat it. Remember you first pinched and then you eat it it goes in your thong now the do as i say power gets activated then on the right ear of the pig you're going to talk good to the pig see why are we burying you here 
We're burying you here because we want you to give us people in numbers. We're burying you here because you want you to do this and this. Everything beautiful that's on the right eye. So remember, the first mojo bag comes in red, in, in white. That's for the beauty of everything. So the pig, then now before it dies, it needs to know Wuti, what is it supposed to do. And then we go on the left ear now. You in the very same left ear, in the um on the left ear, yeah, sorry. That mojo bag is red. It's got a needle and it's got other multi as well. Why For the bed, red? red is danger. Oh. Yes, red is danger. Okay. White is clear. Okay. And then you take the needle again. I get you've spoken on the right on the on the right eye. For the good. On the right ear. On the right ear, I'm sorry. Yes. For Owami to come to the church. On the uh, talking to the people. Yes. yes. Now I get we've done the necklace. I just want people to understand okay. when we've done the necklace we take the ear now the right one you speak the good from the white mojo bag that we are going to give you you're going to have it okay and then the red one is for the bed now when you take the needle again you pinch and then you eat that and then you talk on the red or on, on the ear now the left Let's one hear. Uguzi, everyone that has done anything bad to me or everyone that wants to do something bad in this church Okay. so that the pig has got the power and the ability to draw people and to protect the church right okay. then it's two okay and then we bury we we do it we dig a hole mm -hmm. like a, a grave mm -hmm. and then we put the the pig alive when we put the pig alive the face of the pig is facing the door entry so this thing it has the power of attracting people but you are you are there not really for the word of god but you've been attracted by the spirits of the pig and remember the herbs that we put here those are also spirits from all over the walks of life that now gives the pig the ability or the power to draw about and then the church becomes big and then the pastor is obviously spoken that he wants the beamers outside he wants all those things outside rich people must come donate this and this and this and that and then that we do secondly though so this one is particularly the biggest crowd puller that a church or a school or a hospital can have so you have those and then they come so okay before we come okay and then when we have buried that now we are going to give you powers okay to heal powers to speak power powers to make things happen as things happen as you say at the time that you have performed the ritual remember when you go to church on a saturday night there's a ritual as a pastor that you're going to be performing and then number two there's things that you are going to do before you get to church like what rituals that you need to perform so that when you get to church kuna man that there's power when you get in people feel the presence of god uh, the presence of mood the presence of god according to people according to okay. Uh, hey. okay. like yes this is a marketing strategy of course exactly so when you you go inside the church mm -hmm. now they feel this wow mm. so when they feel the presence now they don't know what is going on they think pastor manzini is powerful when she got in i felt it yeah now the person that felt that is going to go to, to the township boss and say to everybody what oh, yo place. yo when i go there you must go mom cool and then you find everyone in that family attends that church one person started it's because of the power that they felt so they do as i say is when we want you to do it now and then you say fire or fall and then you see people falling in church there's actually nothing mm. happening there's actually nothing coming out of those people there's actually nothing it's just magic i can say them falling feeling therapeutic wake up and feel better right that's power now the healing power now you also do a certain ritual ukuti you are able to heal now you are a sangoma hidden 
in a pastor's body. body. Now, because Mina, I give you all those things for you to perform in church. I give you all those oils. You hear most party pastors mang mang is selling oils and the oils are good. The oils are from Esangoma. The oils are from me. I gave you the oils because Nyawazumut. I know how to do oils. I can do oils of all kinds. Oils are done with herbs, and then you put oil, base oil, and then you sift, you drain, and then the oil, then all the herbs must say well, the oil, and then you give it to pastors mang mang. So they will order in hundred liters because the church is gonna buy that oil. Even if you can say it's five thousand rand, you will buy it. Because there's also that one of do as I say. I say exactly. So people will go to church to buy rather than listening to the word of the Lord. So that is what re- the ritual was done for. It was structured like that. And then so to label cool, label cool, label cool, and then it's big. It's big. But- and then I'm here to give you herbs to call people. People go to church because they want to listen to the word of the Lord. People go to church because they want to heal. To get healed from the word of the Lord. So if you have the word of the Lord and you know the word of the Lord, then you can preach. I mean, I can help you open your church. Come here. A fake church. A church is, but the fact is going to be a church because you're going to use the same Bible that everybody uses. Sick. There is no power in any water, but there is power in the name of Jesus. Uh, I don't know if they are fake pastors. But they are pastors that wants people to come into their churches. But they are pastors that wants people to that wants to have powers. I, I call them pastors. We do okay. is people um, have churches. I, there was a so, part. I'm I'm not sure. Maybe there's a different video that talked about the fact that it's not just the church that these yeah. things are in the in in hospitals in you know in schools. Very schools you mm. know so. I want us to pray. I know time is fast spent, but it's good. Knowledge is power. Mm-hmm. Since lack of knowledge, my people perish. So if we don't talk about these things, we are living in deception. And remember the first scripture that I put up, it says in the last days, we will be looking for answers. So we'll be going from place to place. And sometimes you go to a church crowd. Who, what power is behind that? I want us to first of all ask mm. God to repent. If for some reason we have fallen into that and we have been, your, uh, somebody has laid their hands on you and prayed for you, that's how witchcraft is what is, um, is in operation or is deposited in you. Oh, she said, so you did hear, she said the same for schools and okay. So, um, um, Asadu said she heard that I missed that part. So we're going to pray in Jesus name. Can we pray? You, you heard it yesterday. If you were on here, you heard, we showed a few pastors. They are good men, but Mm. they have doubled. They have doubled. And I, I always said that we sometimes we there is a thin line between a prophet yes. and a diviner. Yes. There is a thin line. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, I'm speaking from experience. There is a thin line because sometimes you see things, you hear things. If you are not careful, where is that voice yeah. coming? Is that the voice of God or is the voice of the enemy? Remember, there are two kingdoms. So yes, you have a feel when they go to church, that feeling. So they think that is the power of God. And that is why the word, it says meditate day in and day out. Can we just pray in the name of Jesus? Uh, We've spoken for a long time, but knowledge is power. Good knowledge, good doctrine. It's what brings a deliverance. I'm telling you, when you know the word so much, it says, witches, can, they have no power over you. They have no power. But one thing I have learned is when they come to provoke you, when they come to get on your nerves and you fall into that um, rhythm of arguing with them, then you fall into that category of envy, strive, anger, you know, all the things we read in Galatians 5.21. And then you, bec- you, the spirit of hatred takes over. Mm-hmm. The spirit of jealousy takes 
over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a very good example he gave was um, between um, um, uh, Penina and um, what was the other woman's name that was always tormenting um, Hannah, always mm. tormenting her. Anna had no kids, but the torment, the torment, torment. But her response was what? Prayer. Was prayer. And also we need to be careful. In the Old Testament, yes, the witches, they pray, they, we pray, they, they had to be put to death. But in the New Testament, in the new creation, we pray for their so souls. He said, God says, I, I wish that all men be saved. So the moment you begin to pray those kind of prayers, you remember, you are beginning to dabble in witchcraft. I'm going to say it out there. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's repent this morning that if for any reason, like he said, you might sometimes be a witch and you don't even know because you are you are flowing in. You've been taught that it is OK. Like the other woman who says she's a pastor, but she does rituals. Now, if you study the word or you 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 you, you listen to the word, you will know that it doesn't sound right. Mm -hmm. So let's pray and, and ask God, Father, if for some reason mm -hmm. one of some of these pastors have laid hands on me, prayed for me, Father, forgive me. And also the spirit of descendment to descend. What power is, is behind a man of God or a woman of God? Is that God for real? Mm. Father, open my eyes. First of all, your eyes be opened in the name of Jesus. Can we pray? I know the place is so quiet. So, Father, help us in the name of Jesus. That we don't fall into these kind of deception because it is deception. Don't be deceived. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, help us in the name in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us. Lo raba se kata yere be posoto re be be kata ya raba bo ya re be posoto re be be yere be posoto re be be kata ya. Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. Lo raba se kata yere be posoto re be be kata ya. We need the Holy Spirit to teach us. Lo raba se kata yere be posoto re be be kata ya. In the name of Jesus. Lo raba se kata yere be posoto re be be kata ya. Oh, yes, Lord, help us, help your children. Oh, Father, help us in the name of Jesus. Help us, help us, Holy Spirit. Oh, we surrender, we surrender our lives, oh God. We surrender, we surrender. We surrender, we surrender. Mane kade kata ya rebe boso to rebe beka ya rebe boso to rebe beka ta ya raba bo ya rebe sonde rebe kara baba. Father, the, the, the eye to see, the discernment, the gift of discernment to know. In the name of Jesus, mate kada boso reba boso nde 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 kata ya rebe boso nde 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 kara baba. We surrender, Lord, this morning. Can somebody surrender this morning? Reba. Darkness and light. Darkness cannot comprehend when there is light. When you are full of light. When you are full of light. To that kind of environment. We surrender, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I, I really wish um, we can continue this next week, actually, because it's so important. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to stop here Amen. because of time. Hallelujah. I really, Amen. really, really wish we can do this, continue this next week. So I'm just putting it out. If you are blessed and you are being blessed by being taught 
these things and i pray that even as you leave this altar you go back watch the video meditate and let the lord open your eyes to these things hallelujah um uh, lady j please amen. take over uh, gotta stop here <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> amen god bless everybody amen amen, amen. amen. God bless, you. God bless you so very much, Pastor V. God richly bless you. I just want to thank the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, um, Amen. this that which you have taught this morning, it was truly the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You know, two days ago, I was just going myself into the same thing, you know, and I was repenting, said, God, if anyone have laid their hand on me, you know, and I don't know what spirit they are using. <laughs> Father, deliver me. And I say, mm. I separate myself from every wrong person, yes. contaminated spirit, yes. every spirit that are using them. I begin to pray. Mm -hmm. I begin to pray. And I was weeping. And this mm. is very serious. The word of God that uh, Pastor V used one word. It's a Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. Mm. It says, He has delivered us from the power of darkness. Mm. We are. The Amen. Lord have delivered you and I from the power of darkness. Mm. This is the darkness. Hallelujah. It takes only the light mm. to know that you are in dark. Without the light appear, you will never see that you are still in darkness. Hallelujah. Mm. So we are asking the Holy Spirit, may the light of the Lord shine in our way. May God bring his Amen. speed light, the speed mm. light of the Lord. May it brighter and brighter mm. in our pathway Amen. that we will Amen. not walk in darkness. That darkness Amen. will not come near us at the minute they try to sneak in that the Holy mm. Spirit will wake us mm -hmm. up. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So we will, so let us pray. Let us pray one more prayer. Yes. Hey, baro, before, in the name so of Jesus. Father, we pray that your light will shine. Your light will shine. Your light will shine. Your light will shine brighter and brighter on our light. In the name of Jesus, God, you are in the name of Jesus. 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 Let your light shine brighter and brighter in the name Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank God for Pastor Clement. God bless you. God bless Amen. you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And I want to thank God for uh, Pastor Edwin. God richly bless you this morning. Grace and peace. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Grace and peace. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank God and uh, good morning. And I'm calling everyone that we missed this morning. And uh, Minister Joyce, grace and peace. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I want to Amen. thank God, grace Amen. and peace for Sister Suzanne. Hallelujah. In Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Bless you for coming. And Brother Amen. Warren, God bless you so much. And Sister Ming. God mm. bless you, and I want to thank God. I don't know, but I believe it's uh, uh, Laurentia. I have a friend, um, Sister Laurentia. Bless your heart for coming. God, yes, and also Sister Destiny. God richly bless you, grace and peace. And um, 
I don't know if he's a man of God. Uh, he's a Jew. Uh, Jew Pastor Jules. Julius, yes, he's a yeah, man of Pastor God. Pastor Julius, God richly bless. Pastor Julius, bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Mm. Grace and peace to you. And we really appreciate mm. God for coming. God richly bless you. Please, you know, um, don't forget tomorrow. Hallelujah. We are going to be on the altar tomorrow morning trying to make it on time. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, Pastor Edward, going to take us, uh, hallelujah, testimony Amen. and Thursday mm. and uh, also Friday. Hallelujah. Mm. And we shall be here and pray for the nation minister who is going to take us. Hallelujah. God richly bless you. And then also and um, Saturday. So therefore, I just want to thank God and let us share the grace. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. The love and the sweet and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, 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 goodness and mercy and mercy shall join us. All, all the days, the days of our lives, oh. and we shall, and we shall in dwell in the house and in, in the presence and in wisdom, Lord. in love, oh. and in the word forever and, and, and ever. ever. Amen. 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 That's my Amen. version. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless Amen. everyone. Thank you, Amen. sister. Amen. It's actually a powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Amen. you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And the light shines in darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend it. Oh, let it be light, 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 light. Let it be light, 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 light. It's a command. Let it be light. Thank you, Pastor Clement. God bless you.